In this video, I will tell you about the construction line command in AutoCAD. <clears throat> Located under the Home tab, we define the construction line command as the X line command. Construction line is mostly used to use a reference line in a specific direction. Just like in the Ray command. But here we can create a two-way line as well as create a horizontal or vertical group of lines. After activating the construction line command, what we will do is to create any line by holding it from two points. If you want to create horizontally or vertically steady lines, this is how I recommend it. We select our palette from the layer and then use the draw pan of the select construction line. Then we select horizontal for example and you see that when I click certain points here, we can create reference lines or construction lines that extend to infinity. In the same way, after we enter the command, we can select vertical and click on certain points in order to create our reference points. Then we can use another method, angular. We can set angular lines, for example 45 degrees. As you'll see, every time I click a point, it, I can create reference points of 45 degrees that extend to infinity. As you can see, they extend to infinity and as we learned before in the Ray video, we can use these modify commands to edit these. We can grab a point and carry it towards another. We can copy it or we can trim them and separate them from certain points. Again, we use this command for setting a reference point in our project. Construction line also activated by typing X line into the command bar. As you see, when I press enter here, it will activate the construction line command. In this video, we told you about the construction line command in AutoCAD, and we hope to see you in the next video.